Hey folks, what is going on? It's Jacob. Coming at you with a quick video. Just jumped off a uh, onboarding call for a new Inner Circle client, um, a one-to-one -one call on a, uh, on a Wednesday evening. I'm um, just wrapping up a couple of things. It's just gone seven o'clock. I've, uh, I've got tickets to go see the new James Bond movie shortly. Um, but wanted to film this quickly. Um, I gave this lady a piece of advice that I think a lot of you can benefit from. So I wanted to film a quick video and share that. And this is going to be for people who are watching this who are feeling overwhelmed or uh, stressed or, or however that manifests for you um, in terms of having a lot of different moving parts and things going on in their business. And this can happen pretty quickly from, from starting from scratch. You end up with you know, multiple platforms that you're uploading on, multiple products of your own or multiple affiliate products, um, different funnels, different methods of conversion, um, you know, all, all these different things play in together and can very quickly become messy and stressful. Uh, and so we spent a good amount of time on the phone together mapping out all the moving parts of her business and then I gave her um, s some things to go away and do to we should be able to pretty rapidly um, increase her free time, increase her margins and simplify. Um, but before we jumped off the call, I gave her one piece of advice that uh, I, I tailored it specifically to what she's doing, but, but the general advice I think is still valuable for uh, the majority of people. And I wanted to share with that, share that with you in this, in this very, very quick uh, video. Before I jump into that, if you haven't already, be sure to click that first link and apply to join our free private community. I'm really active in there. I post most days and we have a good time all about information marketing. Um, beyond that, you'll see some links to some paid programs. You can check them out if you feel so inclined, if you feel like some of those might be a good fit for you, depending on what you are currently doing or want to do in the information space, be that selling your own products or selling other people's as an affiliate. Give the video a like, subscribe, all that kind of good stuff. All right, so I'm going to knock this one out pretty quickly. So we're going to through the business. One thing I do on my onboarding calls, we use a tool called Whimsical, um, which if you haven't used it, I'd recommend that you check it out. And we and, and in order for me to get up to speed quickly um, so that I can help them get more free time and, and make more money, um, we map out the business and usually work backwards from, okay, what are you selling, right? What are the different offers that you've got? And then we reverse engineer it back to... Um, you know, what are all the places that you're creating content? Because that's really typically where people have their first interaction. And then we map out all of the moving parts in between, both up and down and across. And what I mean by up, up and down is like, um, if you come to a point in, in someone's business and then you've got multiple different directions that you can go in, that's kind of up and down. And then, and then lengthways is like um, a more classic process. So I, I, I go from... A to B, B to C, C to D, you know, that kind of thing. Uh, so we map it all out. We get it all on paper, um, which while that helps me, <laughs> um, 10 times out of 10, it also helps the individual because in most cases, people haven't done this. So even just going through that process of mapping out every little moving part um, from, you know, all the different offers, all the different funnels and sales processes, communities, emails, um, places that they're putting out content. Even just mapping that out gives people a lot of clarity and it helps to get it on paper for the first time, paper virtually. Uh, because up until that point, most people have just been doing that in their head. Um, what that then allows you to do, just to, to segue slightly, um, what that then allows you to do once you've got that mapped out is... Um, is you can actually start to break down each component into a major part and then go, okay, what are the things I'm doing within each of these and what are the things that I want to do? And then you can, at a more micro level, start to start to knock those over, um, either eliminate them completely, change it up to a, a better way of doing things or outsource. And that's how you start to you know, drastically reduce your time commitment across the various elements of your business. Um, and then when you do that in conjunction with increasing prices, um, all of a sudden you've got more free time and you're making a lot more money. Uh, that can take you know, time to implement, but that's, that's kind of the process. And uh, so we're walking through this and, and, and hers had quite a few moving parts, uh, had more moving parts than, than mine had really. 
um, but won't won't be too hard, I don't think, to to um, make more succinct. And what I said to her as we were wrapping up the call is, what I recommend that you do is centralize communication platforms. So what I mean by that is there, there's a lot of stress when you've got people contacting you via email and contacting you via text and via Slack and via Voxer and via Facebook Messenger and via WhatsApp and um, engaging on posts and then picking up the phone. And, and there's people out there running businesses where they've got clients, they've got team, um, they've got people in their life contacting them from all of these different places, right? Prospects, um, and this is the big one, they, they might be trying to sell using all of these different avenue cause they, avenues because they feel that, well, the more conversion avenues I've got, the more places people can, can communicate with me and the brand and the business, the more likely I'm going to sell more stuff. Um, and, and it's just not, it's not an absolute like that. So what I said to her is, as a first and foremost, let's take these core pillars and link them all up using one main communication method so that it all comes back to this one place, which initially is going to be her in there, but then we can very quickly outsource it. Um, and if people contact you from using other methods, you get a link and you send them all back to this this one place, right? So, so for her, it was um, a business page inbox. Centralize everything there. And over time, people will become used to communicating with your team through that, right? Prospects will get used to that as your sales process. People will, will know, okay, well, if I want to upgrade, I need to go there in order, in order to communicate. Um, and once, you, once you've got that, then it becomes a matter of, okay, well, I need to be disciplined enough to, if someone texts me, say, hey, thanks for the message, contact us here, and we can talk about it. Hey, thanks for the email, contact us here, and we can talk about it. Hey, thanks for the message or my personal message. Or contact us here and we, can, and we can talk about it. You have to proactively enforce um, these components in your business in order to, to actually streamline it, okay? So if you are stressed and overwhelmed and you've got a million different things going on, quick tip for you today, I would encourage you to streamline communication and that's communication with team, clients, prospects, even family and friends, narrow down the number of ways that people can communicate with you and your business and stick to it religiously. Because what that means is if you wake up each day and there's just one thing you need to check and you know that everything's going to be in there, it's going to save you a lot of anxiety and stress. Um, and it's going to free up a ton of time, which you can then redeploy into other areas. Okay, so look at your business, look at where people are communicating with you, look at how much time you're wasting jumping between different platforms to try and talk to people and, and, and simplify it down into one or, or maybe two. Um, we mostly do ours via uh, messenger and um, email. They're our main two, right? Um, so figure out what that is for you and, and simplify down as much as much as possible. Okay, it will spare you a ton of time. You can then redeploy that into other areas which can make you more money, um, which means then you can go pay, pay people to do things for you, which unlocks more time um, and, and everything will be better. All right, so simplify communication channels with everybody in your life who wants to communicate with you and it will make things a lot better. All right, check out the links in the description, subscribe, like, all that kind of stuff. I'll talk to you all soon. Have a fantastic uh, day. I'm gonna go watch the new Bond movie and we'll see how it is. I uh, can't remember the last time I watched a Bond movie. So we'll, uh, we'll see how it is. And I might, uh, I might tell you guys in a future video if I liked it or not. But I'll talk to you all soon. Have a, uh, have a great day.